Hello one and all, this is Warmer Tacos, and welcome back to Let's Play Bioshock 2! When we last left off, we had just defeated a bunch of Splicers. And we have now got a camera on our side. Which is definitely better than having a camera not on our side. And this thing blew up, which is unfortunate. I really hope that's not the last we see of Tannenbaum. I hope she talks to us frequently over the thing, because... I, I will enjoy hearing her response when I save the first little sister instead of killing him. Spoilers! I'm saving the sisters in, in the same way I did the first time. That's not changing. If that's even a spoiler. Hi, Tannenbaum. Sophia Lan has taken the rapture and is responsible for stealing children from the surface. Her splicers destroyed my submersible and forced me to run. But the ticket booth here is secure. And though I cannot trust him, Sinclair is a valuable ally. I have already rescued a few of the new little ones from Lem. They all want to know how we will get home. I wish I had the right words for them. I have the right words. Get ready to swim. I don't think there's anything else here for us. Might as well get on the tram. Choo choo! Chucka 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 chucka. Oh, that's underwater. Is this thing supposed to go underwater? Yeah, it doesn't matter. I can go underwater. I'll be fine. Catchy. Hacking does not pause the game. Keep moving and seek cover while you hack. That's actually a useful hint, because I'd probably Whoa presume there. one day. Now better apply the brakes unless you're aiming to dash yourself against that glacier up ahead. Eh, let's do it. Oh, or not. As you can see, Chief, the station here is iced over. To reach Eleanor Lamb at Fontaine headquarters, we'll have to clear the way. Now, in order to melt that ice, you'll need a plasmid like a handful of hellfire. We used to sell a fine old product called Incinerate in the amusement park up yonder. Go on and find a way in. I've already been on all the rides. If you do not, and I repeat, if you do not stop using that voice, I will shoot you. And I might sound like an empty threat, but we're probably going to meet face to face at one point, and I will probably be given the choice to shoot you. Have no doubt, I will do it. The very first opportunity I'm given. Who just has a bag full of potato chips? That's either ice or oil. Ooh, a cream filled cake. Uh huh. We are but the stones to pave the way. More money, Vita Chamber. Dramatic flare! Actually, that's a bit of a dramatic flare, actually. It's not a real butterfly, is it? Oh, it's dead now. Ooh! Eleanor is progressing brilliantly. My physical participation in her birth was minimized, of course. It is vital that I am unhindered by nature's crude bias. I will be, above all, her intellectual progenitor. Loyal not to her, but to the people she will ultimately save. But I admit, it is with some measure of pride that I review her marks in standard intelligence tests. As an agent of our beliefs, she may surpass even me. 
if there was ever a debate in this game about about the decision of of whose daughter she really is and whether or not I have the right to take it from her, it just ended. It literally just ended. It is now. It is now. No, you are a cruel, heartless human being who does not even care about the fact that she is your daughter. You just wish to use her for her intelligence. At which case, in which case, I will have no qualms about prying her from your cold, dead hands. And they're not cold because you are dead. They are cold because you have no heart, and not a single drop of warm blood in your body. Insert your ticket now. Half price for children under three. I'm a daddy. I don't need no tickets. Also, if you're under three, you only get half price. You're a rare old model, son. Oh my god. Series, I believe. Now, Rapture's full of scientific wonderments just like you. And if we can sell them to the world at my price, well, curing your condition ought to be a cakewalk. Once we find Eleanor, the sky's the limit. You just want to get out of here and take the same stuff that caused an issue in Rapture and take it to the rest of the world. I don't suppose I can break all that, can I? Whew, shiny, shiny. Yeah, hat, nice hats. Upgrade your weapon at the power of the people station. Can't loot the refrigerator. What kind of party is this? Do I have a thing that goes boom? I don't have a thing that goes boom. I'm not getting in there. There's got to be a way to hack it open or something. Well, this is the security monitoring room. Was there a panel I missed? Something to hack? Doesn't look like it. Ooh, a cream filled cake. I'll tell you what. We'll come back to that because, or we'll come back to this because I want the opportunity to get that weapon before I upgrade. Although I feel like if that's my goal, I've already failed in that regard. I was hired to engineer a park the likes of which no man has seen. Now all I do is watch over it like a grizzled sheepdog. My first line of mechanical puppets made the children here cool with wonder. But Ryan thought my vision was immature. Antiquated, he said. This place could have been something magical. But instead, he turned it into a school. No, a cathedral. Dedicated to himself. Got it. And that's guys. Creepy. I will rescue you or something. Jam dandy. That'll get you. Oh my god. Buying incinerate's gonna cost Adam. It's a sort of genetic goo that lets you rewrite whatever God gave you. The little sisters carry. Technically, stuff, God didn't give me recall, anything. So I was genetically you only created. Need to locate one. I heard whispering near the El Dorado Lounge. Have a look. Well, I'm about to go steal a daughter. You almost got it open. You did better than I did, and I have a giant drill. 
Machine gun and 50 caliber rounds. I wanted you to say that, see if it has a spin up. It does not. I already like this. Let's get this upgraded. Let's see. Drill fuel efficiency. Drill damage. Both the drill and the melee attacks. Okay. You must have both previous upgrades. Uh, rivet gun. Rivet gun size clip. Rivet gun heat upgrade. Machine gun damage increase, machine gun recoil reduction. Hmm. Excuse me. I'm actually going to put it on this. If only because I feel like the rivet gun might become more of a standard than the machine gun, for which ammunition will probably be more rare. Listen up! Choppers! Get yourself hit. No fuck up this time. Really now? Daddy's home. Take it. Fire. You shall be struck down. Just fire. Save you. The six hundred. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. We're getting better at this combat. I don't want the body. I want this. Goodbye. I might have to go back into those previous areas to check and see if there was any health stuff before I pop the first aid kit. I think there was a healing terminal nearby. Oh, hey! Thwack! The circus of value! <laughs> if he's not gonna do it, I'm going to. Ooh, didn't search this one. Go fuel! Should be careful to search. And this game has a habit of respawns. I thought there was like a first aid kit or something I missed. What is the Eve hypo? Which is nice. Uh, cure all. Which isn't bad. I thought there was more. Well, you look real dandy. Curses. I don't want to pop a first aid kit. They're that so valuable. I'm not stuck. I'm searching. Don't punish me for having a sense of exploration game. Actually, it's it's a horror game. It's supposed to punish me for having a sense of exploration. It's supposed to make me want to cower in fear of my surroundings instead of desiring to go search them. Well, health for Eve is a worthwhile trade at this moment. What's that? Go feel. This is a bad idea, but I'll do it. Journey to the surface. I am Andrew Ryan. Welcome to Ryan Amusements. Please enjoy the park. You have picked up your first gene tonic. Tonics are passive abilities that have a variety of helpful effects. Sweet. Sports boost. Makes you move a little faster. Well, that's a hole in the ground. And that's a staff only area that I cannot access. Bullets! Well, when life gives you bullets, 
Make mincemeat. Ah, I love that I can do that now. We're actually going to save. And there is one little sister in this level, it says now. Okay. We're going to get our first opportunity for that soon. I believe this area... Oh, no, that's actually the wrong thing. Andrew Ryan wakes one night while cruising the Atlantic in his steamliner, the Olympian. His sleep interrupted with a singular purpose. Here, he shouts to his crewmen Whoops. as he wipes sleep from his eyes. Full stop. We begin building here. Refitted for heavy construction, the Olympian returns with a new cargo. A state-of-the-art submersible platform, nicknamed the Sinker, ferries supplies and workers to the sea floor, fathoms below. After initial supplies have been brought to the sea floor, the platform is permanently moored in the sediment. Massive iron girders are sunk hundreds of feet into the rock and silt. Below the platform, engineers work to overcome obstacles such as diamond hard rock, obstinate sea life, and unexpected challenge. This is the what? Hall of the Future! Volunteering to chaperone this New Year's sleepover party at Ryan Amusement. Donnie? Donnie, get down off that exhibit and I told you, spit out that gum! You'll choke! <sighs> the kids' parents deserve a night off to enjoy New Year's, but I'm at my wit's end. Donnie, I told you! Won't somebody think of the children? After the platform is secured, work progresses at an astounding rate. Designed to be the foundation of Rapture, Workers toil around the clock to create the metropolis you see today. Wouldn't exactly call it a metropolis. Well, that's what the little sister's supposed to be. Your kind ain't welcome here. <laughs> you won't listen. <laughs> Your kind ain't welcome here. I start firing. He's not listening. New plan. Oh, gotta use that now. Bet you didn't think I could hop. Right now, I don't need to trade Eve for health. Because I've got enough health, but I don't have enough Eve. Hey, amigo! Why don't they talk? Well, this is a good idea. Let's do it! Believe me when I tell you, I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. Yeah. Yeah, I hear that. I paid a dollar to be told something I already knew. There are worse things you can spend a dollar on. Ooh, a cream filled cake. A boat! A bear. A doll. Money and ammo! The best things to find in a children's toy store. Actually, it's a gift store, isn't it? Well, this is the 25 cent bargain bin. This doll is less in value than this doll. Sinclair Toys. Uh-huh. I already know this Sinclair fella. Used to be, there was no margin in running the gift shop. I couldn't hardly sell off this tourist crap for a penny more than the cost of manufacturing. Then I met a straight shooter named Sinclair, and he laid a sweet deal on me. Says he's got some hard luck folks down at Poplar's Drop can whip up this junk at half the cost I used to pay. Yeah, I had to pick a needle or two out of the shipments, but all in all, nobody's the wiser, and I'm all the richer. Yeah, this Sinclair guy. He's gonna be trouble. Ah, oh, heck. Good loot. 
Here comes trouble. Ooh, a cream filled cake. You know, plasmids are a lot easier to use now that it's a gun in one hand and a plasmid in the other. Hello? You know what? If I can just pick him up again. Before I just walk into the bathroom. Who's there? Nobody. Where did you come from? You literally phased into existence because you didn't trigger my traps. Let's switch back to the big gun. That shit because it's giving me more ammo for it. A zip and a zap. Once again. Heavy rivet. Switch it up. Drink some whiskey. Do some cigarettes. Take that first aid kit. Heavy rivets. Play this. Also, I just noticed we're way past the 20 minute mark. Half a lifetime there, in service of the common good. But then, I heard my own words twisted by fat old men squatting over the embers of Hiroshima. Were the modern world a patient in my care, I would diagnose it suicidal. On perhaps that point alone, Andrew Ryan is correct. Rapture is deliverance. No, you're not completely bat squeak insane. Just partially bat squeak insane. Each of us has a moral duty to increase the common joy and ease the common pain. Alone, we are nothing. Mere engines of self-interest. Together, we are the family. And through unity, we transcend the self. You don't want to open that door. When we come back, we're going to open the door for him. Thank you all for watching. This is Wambataku signing off. And don't forget, excellent deals out the circus of value. Never forget. Goodbye, poor clown. May your voice wisp into eternity. To be heard by generations from here on out. I tried to hit the I tried to hit the unrecord button and didn't do anything. Curse you! Ruined my dramatic flair.